एवरी वन वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंस्टेंस ग्रुप्स इन गूगल क्लाउड वॉट दे आर हाउ यू कैन यूज दैम टू मैनेज यूर कंप्यूटर रिसोर्सेज मोर एफिशियंटली इंस्टेंस ग्रुप्स आर अ वे टू क्रिएट एंड मैनेज कलेक्शन ऑफ वर्चुअल मशीन इंस्टेंसेज दट आर डिजाइन टू वर्क टूगेदर एज अ सिंगल लॉजिकल यूनिट दे अलो यू टू क्रिएट अपडेट एंड डिलीट अ ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टेंसेज एडवांस विच कैन सेव यू अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड एफर्ट कंपेयर टू managing each instance individually there are two types of instance groups in google cloud managed instance group and unmanaged instance group so let's take a closer look at each one of this a managed instance group where you create identical vms using an instance template there are few advantages when you use managed instance group the first is i availability it automatically repairs failed vms If a VM in a group stops, crashes, or gets deleted, this managed instance group will automatically recreate that VM in accordance with the original instance specification, so that the VM can resume its work. It also provides auto healing. You can set up application-based health check, which periodically verifies if the application is responding as expected on each of the managed instance group instances. If an application is not responding on a VM, the MIG automatically recreates the VM. It also provides a regional coverage. Using regional managed instance groups, you can spread application load across multiple zones. This kind of replication protects against zonal failures. For example, one zone is not responding, your application can continue serving traffic from instances running in the remaining available zones in the same region. it also provides load balancing it distributes the traffic across all the instances in the group next is scalability when your application requires additional compute resources it can automatically scale the number of instances in the group to meet the demand if demand drops it can descale instances using automatic update you can safely deploy new versions of software to instances in your managed instance group and it also supports a flexible range of rollout scenarios such as rolling updates and canary updates you can control the speed and scope of deployment as well managed instance group l checks proactively signal to delete and recreate instances that become unhealthy instance groups maintain i availability of your applications by proactively keeping your instances available a managed instance group automatically repairs failed instances by recreating them unmanaged instance group on the other hand are a groups of virtual machine instances that you manage yourself they don't provide the automatic scaling rolling updates and health checks but they do give you more control over your instances you can use unmanaged instance groups to create and manage a group of instances that you can configure and customize to meet your specific needs now that we know what instance groups are let's talk about how you can create and manage them in google cloud to create a managed instance group you will need to first create an instance template which defines the configuration of the instances in your group once you have an instance template you can create a managed instance group from it and then configure the group to automatically adjust its size based on demand perform rolling updates and run health checks on its instances to create an unmanaged instance group you will need to first create your virtual machine instances manually and then add them to a group with an unmanaged instance group you will need to manage the life cycle of your instances manually including scaling updates and health checks navigate to the compute engine section from the console home page you have click on compute engine navigate to instance group and click on instance group click on create instance group here we will be creating a stateless managed instance group provide a name for your instance group choose the instance template here you can select an existing instance template or create a new one by clicking on create instance template so this template will be used to create instances for the group next you need to select the location so if you want to have this managed instance group only in a single zone you can select single zone but for i availability it's always recommended to have multiple zones here select the region and zone where you want this managed instance group 
to be created so if you want to uh, redistribute your instances across zones you can select this option allow instance redistribution next you need to configure the auto scaling settings so under auto scaling mode you get three options so let's take a look at each of these options the first one is on where you add and remove instances to the group so you typically configure a threshold for cpu usage network traffic or other metrics so when the threshold is exceeded gcp will automatically add new instances to the instance group to handle the increased workload and the remove refers to scaling off which means you configure a minimum size for the instance group when the demand decreases and the number of instances is no longer necessary to handle the workload gcp will automatically remove instances from the instance group down to the configured minimum size second option is scale out where you typically configure a maximum size for the instance group when demand exceeds the capacity of the existing instance gcp will automatically add new instances to the instance group up to a configured maximum size the third option is off do not auto scale which means it does not add or remove any instance to the group so we will select uh, the first option add and remove instances to the group and we'll set minimum number of instances and the maximum number of instances so minimum number of instances is nothing but scale off so here i will be setting it to 1 and the maximum number of instances is scale on so i will be setting it to 5 so it will uh, add more instances when the demand increases and the minimum number of instances i have added it as 1 which means gcp will remove the extra instances when the demand goes down next we'll set up the auto scaling here i'll be uh, setting up the cpu utilization here you can set the target CPU utilization. These auto scaling signals are used to determine when to automatically adjust the number of virtual machine instances in a group based on the demand. There are four types of signals available in a managed instance group. The first is a CPU utilization where you can set a signal based on the average CPU utilization across all the instances in the managed instance group. So when the CPU utilization exceeds a predefined threshold, GCP will automatically increase the number of instances to handle the additional load. I have set the target CPU utilization to 70%. So when this threshold is uh, reached, it will auto scale the instance. So MIG will auto scale the instance. The next signal type is HTTP load balancing utilization. So this signal is based on the serving capacity of the load balancer. When the serving capacity of the load balancer exceeds a predefined threshold, it will automatically increase the number of instances to handle the additional load. So here you can provide the target HTTP load balancing utilization. So once this threshold is reached, it will auto scale the instances in the MIG. The third signal type is cloud pubber subqueue. So this signal is based on number of messages in a cloud pubber subtopic. You, you can use pubber sub to queue messages for processing your application. When the number of messages in the queue exceeds a predefined threshold, GCP will automatically increase the number of instances to handle the additional load. So if you do not have any topic created, you can create a topic. You can also configure auto scaling policy using uh, cloud monitoring metrics. So if you want to scale using a metric that comes from each VM in the managed instance group, you can select time series per instance. Under metric identifier, you have 5143 metrics to select from. You can select uh, any of this. And the monitored resource type for this scope is GC instance. You can set the scaling policy, set the utilization target and the utilization target type and click on done. You can add multiple signal types and the second metric export scope is single time series per group. So if you want to scale using a metric that is not specified to individual VMs, you can select this. Here you can select the metric identifier and the metric monitored resource type. So this is another way you can add the metrics, auto scaling metrics here. I will be selecting the default one this, which is CPU utilization. We will be setting the target CPU utilization to 70%. And click on done. Let's set up the cooldown period to 60 seconds. Moving on, VM instance lifecycle. So here you configure what happens to VMs when it's created, repaired or deleted. Here you find two options, updates during VM instance repair, keep the same instance configuration. 
when you select this what it does is it will recreate a vm with the same instance template and whatever configuration was there it will maintain the same so when you select the second option it will update the instance configuration to match with the latest instance template we will select the first option to keep the same instance configuration next is auto healing auto healing is another feature that automatically detects and replaces instances that are unresponsive or unhealthy when an instance in a mig is marked as unresponsive or unhealthy the auto healing feature automatically terminates the instance and creates a new one to replace it the new instance is created based on the original instance configuration and specifications ensuring that the new instance is identical to the failed instance this auto healing also ensures that the managed instance group maintains the desired number of instances providing high availability and uptime for applications running on the instances additionally auto healing can be customized to trigger based on specific criteria such as when an instance cpu utilization or memory usage exceeds a certain threshold so this is most crucial feature of um, mig when i say mig mig is nothing but managed instance group so this helps ensure the reliability and availability of your applications by automatically replacing any failed instances so this is one of the important feature which you should not miss under auto healing you can see l check if you do not have any health check created you need to create one by clicking on create a health check i am naming my l check as my hap health and uh, since my application is using http protocol i am selecting the protocol as a http as you can see there are the multiple protocols available you can select uh, uh, the protocol which is used by your application and so for http i am selecting the port as 80 so if you want to have a l check logs you can set it to on but please remember that uh, it will increase your cost in logging and under l check criteria you can check the interval So this is the amount of time between a consecutive L checks. The default check interval is five seconds. So you can increase the seconds. Next is the timeout. Timeout refers to the maximum amount of time that the L check waits for a response from the VM instance before it gets timed out. So the default timeout is five seconds. I will be setting it as ten seconds here. When check interval, I will set it to ten seconds. Next is the LT threshold. So these are nothing but the number of consecutive successful L checks that are required for the VM instance to be considered LT. So the default LT threshold is two. You can increase this threshold as per your requirement. So I will be setting it as three. Next is the unLT threshold. This is also the number of consecutive failed L checks. This determines the number of consecutive failed L checks that are required for the VM instance to be considered unLT. The default unLT threshold is two. So once done, click on save. So initial delay is the time which we set to allow an instance to boot and applications to fully start before the first L check. So during the initial delay, the instance is allowed time to start up and initialize its services and dependencies. Once the initial delay has elapsed, the L check system will begin monitoring the instance to ensure that it is healthy and able to serve traffic. And the length of the initial delay can vary depending on the configuration of the L check system and the specific needs of your application or the service which has to be monitored. So you can set a longer initial delay if your application or the service takes longer to initialize. A shorter delay is sufficient if the initialization time is relatively short. So I'll be setting the initial delay as a three hundred seconds. Port mapping is required when you define how the name ports on the instance in the MIG should be mapped to the load balancer's backend service. So this is used by the load balancer to route the traffic to the correct instances based on the port and protocol specified in the L check. So this port mapping is very necessary in a managed instance group to ensure that the incoming traffic is directed to the correct instances and that the instances are able to receive and respond to the traffic. So since I'm not using any load balancer here, I will not be uh, adding any port mapping. I'll be showing it in the later sessions. For now, we'll keep it simple and we'll create the instance um, group. So let's review before uh, clicking on create button. So I have named my instance group and I have selected the instance template here. 
and under location I have selected it as multiple zones. Under auto scaling I have uh, selected the add and remove instance uh, to the group and I have set the minimum and the maximum instances and I have also set the auto scaling. I have set the uh, CPU threshold to 70% and um, I have also configured the cooldown period. Under auto healing I have created the health check and I have set the initial delay for this health check. So now let's click on create. So this is creating my instance group. Press this. So now you can see our instance group is ready. This is an instance group and it is having one instances. So we had set the minimum instance to one and the maximum instance it can reach is five. So when the load on this um, instance becomes more, then the instance group will initiate more instances up to five instances. So that's the max limit which we had set here and it is using a template template one and the auto scaling uh, we have set the CPU th utilization threshold to 70%. So once the, uh, this sh threshold passes 70% uh, this instance group will auto scale. So if you want to see more details about this instance group you can click on my instance group. Here you can see under overview it, it will show the status of the instance. So at present there is only one instance at is, and it is in running state and the I'll check of this instance is 100% healthy and auto scaling is on so minimum uh, instance limit we have set to 1 and the maximum limit it is 5. So you can see here in the creation time when this instance group was created and how many instances are available in this instance group and what template it is using and in which location it is present. So all these details you can see under the overview page. So here under instance group members you see my instance group in 98k9 so this is the instance name so this you cannot provide a custom name here when you are like managing your instances from a managed instance group so it will uh, automatically create it so it is having the internal IP and external IP so, so these are all set automatically and under L check you can see it is uh, showing it as healthy so if you want to set the minimum instances to two you can also do so by editing this instance group click on edit and we will increase the minimum number of instances to two and click on save so now it should initiate one more instance since we have sent the minimum limit to two so you can see the actions which is going on so it's updating the vm instance group and it is updating the auto scaler so it has successfully updated the instance group. Under overview page here you can see instances by status. It, it is now showing it as two instance. One is in ready state and another one it is showing warning. Instance by health also it is showing 50% healthy. Because this instance is still getting created. That is why the status is still not ready. It is showing warning message here. It's getting timed out. So as you can see it is still resizing. So before it was one, now we have updated the instance group to have two minimum instances. So you can see it is still creating it. So let's refresh this page. So now you can see the status as ready. So now there are two instances with the same configuration whatever we have defined in our template one. It will have the same specifications and configuration. So let's click on this instance group. Now both the instances are in ready state and it is 100% healthy. In auto scaling you can see the minimum is set to 2 and the maximum instances is set to 5. So when you scroll down under instance group members you can see there are two instances. Both are using the template one and both are created in the US central because that is what we have mentioned in the instance group. Both will have their own internal and external IP and the L check status it is showing it as healthy. So this video was all about how you can create a managed instance group. If you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on GCP. Thank you all for watching.